Hey, this is Erica Awakening from TapSmarter.com. Welcome back to day six of the 30-day World Peace Challenge. Today we're going to address the issue, I don't know where to begin. Um, because it can feel a little overwhelming. And let's be honest, this could be 300 or 3,000 videos instead of 30 videos. The 30-day World Peace Challenge is really just a beginning, uh, as there are so many issues that need to be cleared for world peace to happen that we could keep going for quite a long time. So instead of trying to get everything into one challenge, we're just going to do as much as we can in 30 days. And I say that because we could keep clearing preliminary blocks like we did in the first five videos for quite a long time. And we're not going to do that because we need to move on to more substantive issues. Um, this really is just a beginning. If you want to get much deeper with my whole coaching method, if what we're doing really resonates with you, then the place to do that is on my website, uh, either with the video products, which are at tapsmarter.com store. I always throw in some world healing into my products. And when you do your personal healing, you're always helping the world too. Uh, or personal coaching programs, which preferably you're making a long-term commitment, and that's at tapsmarter.com slash coaching. Be aware that the whole ethos of holistic belief reprogramming is win-win. So I have a very good track record of my products and services paying for themselves. Most recently, my, my mentoring client just had a $135,000 miracle that paid for her entire year of coaching with me. So I invite you to check that out on the website if you want to go deeper then we can realistically go in this 30-day challenge. Okay? So with that out of the way, let's get started on this idea that we don't even know where to begin because if we tap on that, then we're inviting guidance to come in and, and tell us how to set our priorities and what order in which to clear issues and so forth. Okay, so we'll go on Karate Shop. Even though this project feels a little overwhelming, how am I going to manifest world peace? just by tapping 30 videos. This pro planet has so many problems and so much entanglement and complexity that I don't even know where to begin. I could tap for 30 days just on one single issue, like war, or poverty, or the battle between the sexes, or the mistreatment of animals. I don't know how to set my priorities. I don't know what I need to tap first. Part of me doesn't want to move forward at all because I don't know where to begin. I ask God and the angels to guide me, help me set my priorities, help me maximize the healing benefits. of participating in this 30-day challenge. All right, let's go on the top of your head. I don't even know where to begin. This world has so many problems. We are destroying the environment. Mistreatment of animals is epidemic. People are dying of diseases all over the planet. Some diseases appear to be incurable. 
including the disease of aging. I believe aging and death are inevitable. And I don't even know where to begin changing those beliefs. I choose to be powerful anyway. Even though I do not know where to begin. Do I start with war? Do I start with poverty? Do I start with racism? Do I start with genocide? Do I start with military domination? Do I start with bureaucracy? And bipartisan bickering? That makes it impossible to get anything done? Do I start with fear of my own power? Fear of other people's power. I want powerful solutions to these problems. But frankly, I'm scared of power. Everything in history tells me as soon as people have unbridled power, they start to abuse it. I don't know whether to start with unemployment, with the fact that people are getting paid such abysmal wages, I don't know whether to start with the lack of empowerment or how about addictions? Addictions are keeping us totally stuck. People have checked out. They're anesthetizing themselves with drugs and television and porn. I don't know where to begin. I feel completely overwhelmed. No wonder I've got so much apathy. No wonder I've got learned helplessness. The world is so full of problems. We don't even know where to start. I ask God and the angels for guidance anyway. <coughs> All right, let's go back on karate chops. See, I'm getting some congestion in the throat chakra. There may be some fear here about speaking the truth about these issues. That wouldn't surprise me at all. Um, there certainly has been a lot of punishment in history of people who were willing to stand up and take a stand. So something is really important to clear out of your energy system. It's beyond the scope of what we're going to do in this 30 days. If you want to get into that, I have this amazing revolutionary product called the Personal Power Challenge, which is at tapsmarter.com slash power, and we clear lots of those kind of reversals there. All right, we're going to do some Course in Miracles. Let's go back on Karate Chop. To give and to receive are one in truth. I will receive what I am giving now. To everyone I offer quietness. To everyone I offer peace of mind. To everyone I offer gentleness. rest in God. All right, let's go back on the top of your head. Withdraw the gifts you give 
and you will think that what is given you has been withdrawn. But learn to let forgiveness take away the sins you think you see outside yourself. And you can never think the gifts of God are lent but for a little while before he snatches them away again in death. For death will have no meaning for you then. And with this, the end of this belief is fear forever over. Only my condemnation injures me. Injury is impossible. And yet illusion makes illusion. If you can condemn, you can be injured. For you have believed that you can injure. And the right you have established for yourself can now be used against you. Till you lay it down as valueless, unwanted, and unreal. Then does illusion cease to have effects, and those it seemed to have will be undone. Then are you free, for freedom is your gift. And you can now receive the gift you gave. Condemn and you are made a prisoner. Forgive and you are freed. Such is the law that rules perception. It is not a law that knowledge understands. For freedom is a part of knowledge. To condemn is thus impossible in truth. What seems to be its influence and its effects have not occurred at all. Yet must we deal with them a while as if they had. Illusion makes illusion, except one. <sighs> Forgiveness is illusion that is answer to the rest. Forgiveness sweeps all other dreams away. And though it is itself a dream, It breeds no others. Forgiveness is the only road that leads out of disaster, past all suffering, and finally away from death. Is it not wiser to be glad you hold the answer to your problems in your hand, hands. <laughs> His words will work. His words will save. <coughs> it's blocking my throat chakra. His words contain all hope all blessing and all joy that ever can be found upon this earth. 
His words are born in God and come to you with heaven's love upon them. Those who hear his words have heard the song of heaven. Only my condemnation injures me. Only my own forgiveness sets me free. Do not forget today there can be no form of suffering that fails to hide an unforgiving thought. Nor can there be any form of pain. Forgiveness cannot heal. Accept the one illusion which proclaims there is no condemnation in God's Son and heaven is remembered instantly. The world forgotten. All its weird beliefs forgotten with it. As the face of Christ appears unveiled at last in this one dream. The past is over. It can touch me not. My present happiness is all I see. Okay, take a deep breath. Check in with what's coming up. Forgiveness, of course, the big, big, big theme here. All we need to do is forgive, meaning let go of our, our false beliefs about the world, and the entire world will change with us. So, we are really that powerful. Again, if you have questions, please ask them at tapsmarter.com slash forum. If this stuff really resonates with you, I invite you to get my other 30-day challenges at tapsmarter.com slash store. And we'll be back tomorrow for day seven. This is Erica Awakening. Take care.